Perfect. Nice. Perfect. <laughs> Boom. Boom. AKA Sam and Sam, I'm a DJ, actor, and self proclaimed Renaissance man. When I'm not in the studio, I'm diving into my hobbies and exploring many interests. With that comes my personal uncensored insights on anything and are ready for is the Slam Show. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to this Monday edition of the Slam Show for April 10th, 2017. I am your host, Slam and Sam, coming at you here live in Oakland, California. Thank you for tuning in. Wow, I have an exciting show tonight. I can't wait to get into it. it it's, it's just phenomenal. And if you guys are just kicking back on the pre-show, uh, you're not going to hear any of that <laughs> during the actual regular interview because we're going to try to keep it clean, kind of promote everything that they're here about, and not get into jizz and strip clubs. That's for sure. <laughs> and hentai. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> All right. God damn it. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Little J's over in Pittsburgh. If you want to get a major hookup, go to Little J's in Pittsburgh, mention the Slam Show or TV EPN, and get 30% off your entire order. That's for sure. And if the counter person doesn't know what the hell you're talking about, just say, Aaron, the manager, owner, said so. So, yes, Little J's over in Pittsburgh, 30% off on your entire order. And... Props out to Captain Fantastic, the Slam Show host, kicking back over in Florida, Fort Walton. She hasn't been on the show because she moved over, but she is still supporting the show from afar. So props out to Captain Fantastic. <laughs> and behind the scenes tonight is the Iriarte team of Diego and Lawrence. They're making it happen. Say a little hello on the mic there. Hello. Yes. Hi. So they're holding it down as a team. This is the first time we've had dual engineers here on the program, and I'm looking You're forward to them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, with the nice guests that we have. <laughs> we need all the firepower that we could handle. All right, be sure if you haven't followed me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, it is I am slamming. So lock it in if you haven't done so. All right, this <laughs> Thursday, is my Facebook live broadcast of the Slam and Mix show. If you like old school, you like mashups, you like all that good stuff, tune in on to my Facebook live profile at 7.30 Pacific time and interact with me because it is off the hook. Two hours of some great music. Check it out, the Slam and Mix show this Thursday. Also, if you are interested in any good content, check out our TV EPN YouTube channel. That's how it's search TV EPN. New content, new stuff coming out, and I do highlight videos of our shows that we broadcast here. Uh, because the shows are roughly an hour, a lot of people don't have an hour, so they like to have it condensed. So I get the highlights from those shows put together, and those are uploaded onto YouTube. Please check that out, and subscribe, like, and comment. And if you do, you might win a slamming prize pack so that includes t-shirts stickers movie passes all that good stuff so please check that out by subscribing on our youtube channel tv epn and you'll be all set up all right uh, let's get right down into the nitty-gritty <laughs> our special guest in the house and i could tell our team is Applaud happy, but it's okay. They're being interactive. Thank you. <laughs> so excited. Yeah, here you are, team. I love you guys. I love you guys. I feel loved. Exactly, Yay. exactly. All right, let's go down the list. Uh, to my left, this young lady is part of the Geek Fashion Show, and she's a cosplayer. She's a renaissance woman. She does a whole bunch of stuff that, man, it's, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> let's have a big round of applause for Mugen, everyone. Hi, guys. How you doing, girl? Good. What's up with the key? It's from Attack on Titan. Thank you for educating me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> they don't know. If you much don't like know, I then do. you should look it up. Please, please look it up. Claudia, you'll wait your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. Okay. okay. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Sure. Uh, m moving on to our next guest, this gentleman, he is instrumental in putting together. 
the Geek Fashion Show and other convention presentations and so forth. Let's have a big round of applause for Doug Ree Grant, everyone. <laughs> now, you weren't as quick there, Team Ariarte. Oh. Got to be quicker. Got to be quicker, but you're getting there. <laughs> Let's make it happen. How are you doing, Doug? Great. Awesome. Glad to be here. I love your outfit. Thank you. It, it's just matching. It's cool. I'm repping some of my sponsors. All right. Do you want to give them props? Yeah, Capumon hats. They do Pokemon-themed baseball caps, and I'm a huge baseball cap fan just like you. Um, I got my Iron Fist T-shirt on. Iron Fist and New Breed Girl are big sponsors of us, too. We love them both. That's awesome. What do you think of the Netflix series? I like it. Definitely. I like it, too. Yeah, yeah. I like it, too. I'm, all this, like, backlash on it, to me, is kind of questionable. No, it's better than nothing. <laughs> I love Voltron. Their Voltron is awesome. Voltron, I think like, the Voltron I love. is definitely like way up more up my alley. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, no, I think it's cool. I love what Netflix is doing in general. I do. I do too. All right. And our final guest, she's kicking back in the corner and she is just awesome. Totally awesome. <laughs> Cosplayer. Big round of applause for Claudia, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Team Ariarte would be quicker, but it's all right. You're, they're getting there. Uh, Thank you, Team Monday. Ariarte. <laughs> they, were, they were in awe. Exactly. Oh, thanks, I guess. How you doing, girl? Uh, you know, I'm getting by. Yeah. It's, it's, I got the case of the Mondays a little bit. But the, the jizz all stuck up it, in, it, yeah. It's, it's, all, it's all up in this space. But, you know, I, I still came because <coughs> I'm so excited to be here. And I, I bet. did not want anything to stop me. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, Doug, I'm glad that you were able to bring the ladies over because it, it adds spice to this whole interview for the Geek Fashion Show. It's better than staring at just you and me. Hey, <laughs> you know what? We'll make it happen. Oh, though. it'll be a good show. See, yes. just for that, you're going to come on as a guest co-host, and it's just going to be you and I. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm ready. I'll do it. I'll and do we're going to switch the team. It's going to say middle finger to everyone. Oh, Make sure you guys watch that. Repping the XY chromosome. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so... Uh, let's get right down into it. Uh, yesterday, we were over at the uh, Grape City mm -hmm. Con over in Lodi. Yep. First time we met. and In person, yes. In person, yep. in person, and it was fantastic. And, uh, the entire event was, was great, mm -hmm. although most of the time I had to stay in the booth because I you had to You couldn't get out. There you were surrounded. I was surrounded. Well, that's good, though. I was kept in check. Good. And I, I had to attend to duties. I had to do the raffle thing. I had to make sure everything was flowing good and watch out for your lady. Uh, that too. Got to got to make sure TVEPN was represented right because, like I said, we only do certain cons because of scheduling uh, situations. But we wanted to be at Grape City Con because awesome. we knew you were going to be on the show the following day mm -hmm. and wanted to make that connection. Yeah. So I'm, I'm glad you guys came out for our show. We had a great time. Oh, yeah. And we got a lot of stuff in store for the future. <laughs> I mean, some breathtaking stuff, but we'll get into that a little later. Ooh. So, Doug, let's uh, jump to you real quick. How did you get involved with the whole comic book community in general? In general? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I've loved comics since I was a kid. I honestly like learned how to read by reading comics. Um, so I've just, I've loved comics since I could barely walk. I mean, just always, always read That's comics. That's fucking early, dude. <laughs> dude, I'm not kidding you. Like, I, uh, I, I, before I hit kindergarten, I knew how to read, and it was because of comics. Wow. Do you remember what book that was? Uh, it was some old DC Tarzan books and Batman. Oh. Yay, yep. Batman. Yep. Great Ooh. choices. Yeah. They were just what was around, but uh, no, I, I love that stuff. Now, as you were getting into your teens, were you the type that would go, like, to the comic book stores and, and start building your collection, or uh, talk yeah, about I, that? I actually hung around the flea market a lot, and I begged the comic dealer at the flea market to, like, let me sweep up and bag comics so I could get some, some comics and trade. You that know? was your payment. That was my payment. So, yeah, I did that every weekend. Um, and then uh, I, I actually lied about my age to get my first job at a comic shop. And, <laughs> and then I was just, you know, Honestly, doing it to kind of keep around comics. I, I just, I love comics. So you were like 12 and the, the kid, requirement was, was 16? I was, I was 14. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but see, I, I had facial hair already and I had a little voice. And what places? <laughs> uh, that I won't say. <laughs> Child labor laws being what they are. Oh, yeah. But yeah, no, I, I lied about my age to get a job in a comic shop. <laughs> wow. Hey, if you're going to break the law, that's the best way to do that's it. That's it. Breaking the law. <laughs> to work. Well, well. Mugen, how did you get into the whole comic community? Um, honestly, it was just there. <laughs> it was just there. <laughs> Some of us had to I'm work for really, it. I'm not really, huh? <laughs> Some of us had to work for it. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, uh, comics is, I mean, it's a very purist, somewhat toxic community because, like, 
people have a lot of strong opinions of a certain superhero. Like, I've said this a thousand times, like, I don't like Batman, and I know I'm going to get a lot of bashing for it. Like, I don't like Batman for, like, multiple reasons. I'm sorry, Claudia. What's the main okay. reason why you don't okay. like Batman? He's just... I don't Creepy? No, I just don't see him as a hero, to be Creepy. honest. I just... <laughs> well, I've you... never... I mean, ba- I mean, I don't like Bruce Wayne Batman. I like Terry McGinnis Batman. Oh, okay. So mm. I'm, I'm... Yeah, I like um You think Batman he's just overdone? He's too overrated, okay. honestly. Ooh. Like, I he gets way too much praise. I just feel like Terry doesn't have that much praise and attention, just like Nightwing doesn't. I feel that way about the movies. I think the movies Same are completely thing, yeah. overrated. Completely. Yeah, like, I want to see Terry McGinnis uh, on... I want to see Terry McGinnis on screen. I want to see more Dick Grayson on screen. Like, I want to see more about their background that not a lot of other people know about. Like, people right, that right. are just getting into comics. Mm-hmm. Like, they want to know. Like, they want to know. Like, I've been wanting a Batman Beyond movie for years, and I don't think we're ever going to get that. I think it'll come. Yeah. I don't hope. ever say never. Not in this, <laughs> not in this current movie environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I did love evolve. Lego Movie that Lego Batman was, Le- Lego was, Batman was awesome. Good. Yeah, exactly. I love that. That I was just, really great. I just want to see more Terry McGinnis. There you go. Period. I just want more. Ba- I just want to see Batman Beyond. There, well, you're calling it out right now. <laughs> you <laughs> might be able happen. to see it. Exactly. <laughs> Get to it, Warner Brothers. Exactly. Get to it. So, Claudia, your love for the comic community. How does how that evolve? Well, it's kind of funny because I never really grew up with it. I mostly was more into uh, animated movies and TV shows. So um, I'm just kind of more getting into it uh, more so now because I'm going to conventions more and being more exposed, and educated, and inspired. Uh, But I kind of look at it from an artistic point of view because I do art. And so I obviously love very very unique characters and styles that you see that are really unique and – um, just like a work of art in itself. Yeah. So it's more than just the fandom. I find it more of just all these creative people coming together to create this story and really interpreting it. And um, I just absolutely just fell in love with that. And you love the mouse. That's what. That's yes. What <laughs> that, but most importantly, I grew up with that. So and then I actually worked for the mouse. So that's also a big reason why. Impressive. Yes. <laughs> I like it. I like it. So. Doug, when it comes down to putting together this whole geek fashion show, the concepts behind it, were there any inspirations or was this something that you're like watching anime late at night and said, man, I'm just going to go ahead and create this fashion show and it's just going to be geared towards this genre? How did that come about? Well, like the history of the world part one. Actually, what <laughs> happened was I was, um, I was involved with a, uh, a nonprofit organization they were uh, benefiting diabetes research, right? And like every other NPC, they got no money, you know, to do anything. So we were holding a yearly event, and we wanted to spice it up. And I thought the best way to spice it up, you know, that's not going to cost money, um, let's do something like a geek fashion show. And this is back in MySpace time. This is like 2006, oh 2007. Woo, so yeah, the show's, show's been around for more than 10 years. Tom time. <laughs> Tom time. So um, I, I knew a a pretty famous cosplayer back then uh, named Ao, mm-hmm. and she was a big supporter of what we were doing, and she's the one who sort of put a bug in my ear about it. And she's like, "If you want, I'll help you do this." She flew out on her own dime. Oh wow! Uh, to come, and she was, you know, at the time she, it was like her and Yaya and just a few people had that sort I of. I remember Yaya. Yep. Is she still around? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She is a big one. deal. Yeah, yeah. She's a big deal. Because they had that reality show yep. for cosplay. Yeah. Yeah. Heroes of cosplay. Yeah, if Love they that did that show. now, Ao would be on it. She was, she was a big name at the time. But uh, so she supported us, helped helped get it together, helped me get in touch with some other designers and some models, and we put on the first geek fashion show, and it was so popular. What year was this? Two thousand seven. Wow, so 10 years ago. 10 wow. years ago. So um, it was so popular. It was actually more popular than the convention itself. We just continued to do it. But um, if it wasn't for that sort of catalyst of trying to uh, uh, trying to do something to, to raise money that wasn't going to cost us money, that's honest. It was out of necessity. Yeah. Honestly, you know, it's just something we did. It's funny how that happens. Yep. It's, you're just not really looking to do it, but because yep. of circumstances, yep. boom, yep. an idea comes to life. Exactly. And that's sort of how the inclusion thing happened, too. I, I might be jumping the gun and talking about this, but um, at the time, there was no reason to turn anyone down who wanted to be in the show. I needed to fill X number of spots, and I took whoever was willing to participate. And that was a, a wide variety of girls at the time. 
And it wasn't until afterwards when people were coming up to me and saying, oh, my God, that's so nice that you put so-and-so in because she's a plus-size model or whatever, you know. Um, I'm like, I just put her in because she wanted to do it and she was helping me out. I don't see her as a plus-size model. I see her as a model and someone who helped me, you know. Mm. And that's it. the inclusion thing grew on its own. I didn't set out to do it. I just said uh, I saw no reason to say no. Gotcha, gotcha. So the presentation of the geek fashion shows mainly just be yourself yep and let's let's get down to like the requirements yep. what what are they required to wear is there a set fashion talk about that yeah so um it, it's funny we, you know we interview everyone they have to get vetted and everyone not everyone makes it even though we do not discriminate based on age height weight race sexual orientation um, whether you like Batman or not, it doesn't matter. Uh-huh. Right? So He's putting well, me on blast. <laughs> yeah, but, Uh-oh, watch but, it. Um, <laughs> what we're really more interested in is who you are on the inside. Can you rep what we're, t- we're about? Mm-hmm. You know, and our philosophy is everyone has something uh, beautiful about themselves. Right. And uh, what happens is we're just like a regular fashion show. I get designers from all over the country. Sometimes they're national brands. Sometimes they're boutique or Etsy brands. Mm-hmm. Um, and the designers pick what they're going to show in the show. And then I put together a pool of models, and they pick their models. It's just like a regular show. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, they will occasionally bring some of their own girls in. I do encourage them to use my girls because I know my girls will walk the walk, and they know what they're doing. They're vetted. They're trustworthy. They're right, gorgeous. Right. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's all of that. So, uh, But, yeah, I, I, I run it like a regular fashion show. That's awesome. I didn't Thank know you. that you had designers providing the outfits. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And yeah. Now, do you have a say on those outfits? Or I won't approach or allow a designer in unless I'm behind their gotcha. their line. You know, I mean, there has to be something I like. Right, right. right. So, I mean, I have had That's designers. That's not racy enough. Well, it's it's not even <laughs> racy. But there's a certain aesthetic we're looking for, and right. it's got to be sort of geek themed. Right? Correct, correct. It, and, th- and that can be a wide variety of stuff. It doesn't have to be a Superman print. Right, It right. can be like Wasteland gear, or it can be um, something that is Mickey Mouse inspired, like Disney bounding. Correct. But... Um, yeah, it's it, the designers don't get in unless I like them. Gotcha. I mean, that, that's that's my control over the show. Gotcha, gotcha. So, Mugen, yeah. as far as your involvement with being one of the models that are doing the runway stuff, uh, talk about the first time that you did it and how that <laughs> experience was. I haven't walked on their show yet, actually. Yeah. Um, he She's scheduled in two weeks. Yeah, gotcha. He <laughs> stalked me a couple years ago. Like, <laughs> See, this is how real it is on, on the job, show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was dressed up Can as. Can anyone blame me? <laughs> I was in my Alex Benedetto cosplay from Gangsta. Oh, okay. If okay. you guys haven't seen that show, please, please watch it. She's I could, ba- you a I could, lot ba- I could babble about the show right now, but <laughs> I can wait. But um, I was cosplaying. I was just attending like I usually do every year. And he came up to me and because he was telling me like most of his models came out called out sick. Mm-hmm. And so he wanted me to be in a show last minute. And then I was like, OK, right on. And so the next day came my contact in my right eye was jacking up so bad. Like I, it looked like I had pink eye, so I couldn't do it. Ouch. So but we uh, we, we still reconnected to that. Show. Yeah, we reconnected it. And gotcha. I'm like, hey, um, so I'll you had the intent of performing. Yeah, I did. Gotcha. Last minute. And then uh, we kept and in I contact and everything else. So uh, damn pink eye. <laughs> It, well, jizz. it was more like like nearly an infected uh, eye from my contacts. I guess like the con- the rim of my case was like dirty. Yeah. And I guess I forgot really? to clean it with my dumb ass. So oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got uh. by. We managed to get by without her. Yeah. Mm. They we managed. Still hired her. Still yeah. Hired her. <laughs> hey. Woo. But um yeah, and so he invited me to come out to uh Group City that just passed. Yes. And it was cool. It was chill. I walked around passed out business cards i met jackie Gar- gorner which is she is such a doll She's like awesome. we bonded that same day came friends everything so that was the main reason i went to grape city she, I Tell went, like wanted, it is, girl. i've been wanting to meet her i told he told me about it. i was like um i'll i'll go i mean it'd be cool so people so i can introduce myself yeah. and you know and get your feet wet into the whole cosplay world absolutely i mean i got my feet wet in the cosplay community since well it i started in 2012 okay but i didn't make my page until like 2013 <laughs> okay so yes that's worthy of applause she's a newbie you. yeah <laughs> i started my actual page 2013 2014 and then i myspace page no oh god no 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 no, no. can't do friendster 
<laughs> you guys remember Friendster? Google Plus. <laughs> no. Oh. It legit started on Facebook, oh. and then I was not expecting my page to get to where it came to, but I feel like, I don't know, and then I uh, got into Cosplay Deviants, and mm-hmm. then, bam, I'm just like, what is my life? <laughs> what is my life? <laughs> what, is, what has it become? That's awesome. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> well, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, Claudia. Your turn. How did you get involved with this gentleman? Oh, well, um, I've uh, been exposed to a lot of awesome friends in the cosplay community and all the conventions, and a lot of them are awesome social butterflies. Shout out to November Cosplay. Shout out. She is, Love you, Carla. Yeah, she is amazing, and she always tries to connect people um, with each other, and she has been involved uh, with Duggery for um, a couple of shows, I think. And then... Yes, it's, um, Jeez, yeah. 2012 or 13. Yeah, so and so I met Dougery through her and plus a couple of other my other friends like Tina and Cassie and uh, that was back in 2014 or 15 I believe Sorry. and uh, this is actually the first outfit that I wore on my first show and since then I've done three and we'll be doing the fourth show in two weeks so it was super fun and I'm glad to take my cosplay since I've done I've done cosplay since. 2009 but more actively since 2011 but i've been doing costuming and dressing up ever since i was a kid thanks to my mom mom. (laughs) and um uh so it's like taking cosplay to another level because you're also representing fashion and some people uh tend to separate that from like geekiness and nerds who Mm -hmm. are tend to be stereotyped into just like people who stay at home all the time and just play video games or just uh, read comic books or something like that and you don't think that you know you could put the two together and actually put on a big show that people will want to see and take a million pictures mm-hmm. and share with all their friends and their businesses and like really cute fashion people will stop you and say oh my gosh where'd you get that i yeah. want it now yeah. give this take my money <laughs> exactly. people view fashion as a primarily female hobby or interest right yeah and in fact when we first started doing this trying to convince a convention that the fashion show was a viable event to have there i hit a lot of resistance you know and it's a shame it's a shame because I'll, I'll be honest right now we pretty much any show we do will rival the costume contest as far as size and participation and audience you know uh, turnout and everything and so we really kind of blew away some of the first cons we did. They had no idea that anyone would even turn up for our panel right. and see it. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's taken a while, and, and I think people now realize it doesn't, it's not just a female-only interest thing, although no. that's, you know, I think where it, where it started. But, um, you know, guys can like it too, and guys do enjoy it. I have plenty of guys, fellas in the audience, and I've had them on stage also. But, you know, it's... Um, it's for everyone. It is for everyone. It's Fashion's for everyone. For everyone. Yeah. And it's... And it's just as geeky as anything else. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. Now, this is this next question is directed to uh, Claudia and Mugen. Yeah, the whole concept of being able to have like the outfits already presented by the designers. Do you feel that okay, I'm being told to wear this. Is there a certain point where it's like okay, that costume I uh, may may or may not fit my my identity. Do you how would you take that approach? Would it be more like, oh, I'll just wear it because it's presented to me, or should I give some input and modify it to where it fits my standards? I think it depends on uh, the outfit and the designer. I think for most part, you're a model. You're mm-hmm. there to represent this designer, mm-hmm. and they obviously have a vision for you. They're not going to put you into something that's not going to look good. And Duggery, of course, is very much in charge of that to make sure that we look on point and on fleek that on we, fleek like when but we get on that stage and like dab and do all that fun stuff that we are like fierce and fabulous and like but also comfortable yes they're, they're, and comfortable they, so they actually so i'm gonna yeah, interrupt for go just ahead. a second they're, they're they do have the ability to tell me that there is something they don't want to wear so yeah. i ask every girl as part of their interview is there anything you're uncomfortable wearing and yeah. you know some yeah the zipper's going up my ass no, can we honestly, fix it <laughs> I, mean, I mean it's sure there's there's little things like that but honestly i've had a girl who had a scoliosis scar so her entire spine had been operated on as a child oh, she wow. had a scar running the length of her back she didn't want to wear anything backless right i've had girls with appendectomy scars i've had girls who've had kids 
everyone has something about them that they're a little self-conscious about. Yeah. Now, I have had girls also with like a big scar and they don't care. They want to rep it. Yes. They want someone yes. to see it. I've had people with burn, you know, burn scars and things like that. Sure. And they, they're fierce. They're like, check it out. It's my burn scar, right? Yeah. But all the girls always have the choice to say no. I will never put a girl on stage in something they're not comfortable in. Yeah, and you can see that on their faces. If they're not comfortable, they're not yeah. going to look good, and therefore the outfit's not going to look good, and the designer's not going to look good. So it's it's very much a teamwork process. Uh, but you also have to maintain professionalism, and we do have some flexibility with as far as like how we do our hair, um, accessories, makeup. shoes, yeah, mm-hmm. makeup. So you still have you know your own personal worth in it. Uh, but it's kind of neat to see what the designer sees you in. You know, they look at your picture. We do little you know little head shots and body shots, and we have our measurements. So it also depends on what you fit in. Sometimes mm-hmm. you know it's just luck of the draw. Right. But you like to see okay, this designer sees you in this outfit. Why? You know, what is what is kind of popping out to them? And right. it kind of adds a little bit to how unique you are. And it really makes you feel extra confident, mm-hmm. which is why people, you know, are they go out on stage and some of these girls, or even most of these girls, have never had any experience with that. Mm-hmm. And they go out on stage, they might be a little bit nervous, but once they're out there, the crowd is always screaming and cheering and like all of us are so supportive too we're backstage also just like yelling until we hear hoarse and you know have voices the next day just trying to go yeah go you <laughs> oh that was a great pose and you know you're a rock star for a minute and a half yeah we we, yeah. we cat call and all that fun stuff and uh it, it's it just you see on their faces they just have so much fun and it's just It's so short that it's, like, not a big deal. It's just so much fun just to go out there, strike some poses, get some awesome pictures, and then you leave, and then you're like, oh, my gosh, that really wasn't that big of a deal. That was just so much fun, and I I just can't wait to do it again. I mean, even this outfit, this first one that she wore, I'd say that if uh, if she saw it in a store, she probably would not have picked it up off the rack. But um, uh, Claudia was actually someone who came in last minute to help us because uh, she knew we were strapped. We, we've had shows where, you know, st- life happens. Yeah. Some girls don't show up. But um, Claudia tried on a few different things. And I thought this was absolutely ad- – this was one of my favorite outfits that Iron Fist sent us. I loved it. I wanted to see it on stage badly. But it wasn't to a lot of the girls' aesthetic. And I, like I said, I don't think she liked it at first. But when she put it on, it looked amazing on her. Her skin tone and everything matched it. She ended up buying it yep, afterwards. It's mine now. <laughs> <laughs> but Thanks, I mean, you know, stuff like that. Ha- I, and that's what's cool. I think you know they um, they end up seeing themselves in a different way mm-hmm. when the designer puts them in something that maybe they wouldn't have worn on their own. See, the thing that I'm making out of all this whole process, it's it's an advancement of self esteem as well oh, because you're yes. dealing with certain like uh, introverted individuals, and unfortunately. I think nowadays everything's sort of mesh now. I mean, you got a lot of people that are just into everything. Yep. And it's way different than how it was maybe like 10, 15 years ago. Everyone's into it. But st- you still have those pockets of individuals that are still kind of like kept to their own. Yep. And given this opportunity, I'm seeing it as a wonderful thing where they could go out for how, however many seconds and just say, hey, I could do this. Yeah. So you're presenting that platform, that vehicle for them to kind of like, hey, you could be someone even for just a moment. Yep. And yeah. that just leads them into a path of positive thinking. Yep, absolutely. And, uh, totally. that, and, and at the end, that's what you want is to have people believing in themselves. Well, you know, it's, I, and I don't want to cur- call this girl out by name, but she's going to know who she is when I start talking about her. <laughs> but um, you're I, in trouble. No, 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 this is a positive thing. She joined the show. And she's a super cute girl. Um, and you know, she was very excited to be accepted, right? She went through the vetting process, super excited. But as she, as the show got closer and closer, I could see her anxiety level r- raising. She kept oh messaging no. me. And each time it was a little more angst-ridden, right? Yeah. Until she literally sent me the one message that I dread seeing all the time, which is, I'm out. I can't do it. It's too much for me. Mm. I'm out, right? Most of the time, I'm not going to push, right? I want people to be comfortable. I want them to be happy. I will not push them to be in the show. This girl, though, I felt was on the edge, and she just needed a little bit of encouragement. And she had an issue with her weight, and I'm not going to say which direction, but she had an issue with her weight. I called her up, and I I just talked to her for a little bit, and I said, look, if you want to leave because it's what you want to do, that's fine. But if you think it's because I don't want you or someone else doesn't want you, you're 100% wrong, right? And she did the show. She 
it was like jumping out of an airplane. She's literally one of our biggest cheerleaders. She does as many shows as she can possibly squeeze in. Wow. Uh, she's very supportive of everybody else. She's she's an awesome, awesome person. But I- if I had just let her go, if I had let her go down that wrong path of negativity, she would have, you know, maybe never come back. Wow. And um, so I'm glad that the show gave her that, gave her some confidence. And, and you know, we all still struggle with that. I'm sure she still struggles with those those issues. But the show gave her that confidence to uh, to to do it again, you know. So that's awesome. Yay! Yay. And I, I love you. You know who you are. <laughs> that's a great story, and that's exactly the whole thesis of what you're trying to do. Absolutely. Uh, because it do, it does take a lot for certain individuals to get out there to even uh, present themselves in in a certain way. It's tough. And I. Doug, you're, you're doing it. You're making it happen. <laughs> uh, I'm shy. I'll be honest with you. I am super shy. This like Even this right now, it's like an act. Like when we were talking beforehand, that's me. You're right? shy? I'm super <laughs> shy, dude. Fuck no. You're, you're just I am, you're, you're I'm not kidding you. It's like an act. I'm super shy. <laughs> but, uh, but so like I understand, you know. I mean, like, I think, you know, Moog in here is a little bit more extroverted than I am. Oh, but, I uh, bet. Yeah. No, dude, I'm an outgoing introvert. Yes, yeah, that's what I'm I am an outgoing introvert. introvert. I don't know why I, people I like see me that. as an introvert. Yeah. I like that term. Yeah. Outgoing Introvert. introvert yeah. yeah, like I don't know how people see me. I don't like the personality test says I'm apparently an extrovert, a more of an extrovert than an introvert. I'm like, no, this is a damn lie. It, it is. It's a damn I lie. used to be an extrovert because but you're then, taking it online. That's why. Yeah. That's all fake. <laughs> um, to answer that question, honestly, me, uh, I don't judge anything until I try it on. Yeah. So like, if it's for like, if that person sees me in something, and I look at him like, oh, it looks cute, until I try it on, I'm like, oh, okay, it does. Yeah, so she actually tried on literally everything I brought for the panel. She wanted to try on whether it was her size or not. She's mm-hmm. like going to give it a shot. Yeah. And I thought that was kind of cute. You yeah. know, like she'll, she'll she's try. very open minded. I yeah. Works. yeah, I do. You this. never know. Yeah, I do crap like this when I'm in the store seeing something that I want to shoot in. Like, I'm kind of picky of what I like and what I don't oh, like. Oh, man. I, I don't like want to go with you shopping. That's for damn sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, you will. I don't like shopping as much like I used to. But, like, if I see something that I want to get while I'm in that store, it's like, okay, I'm going to get this. And if I see something online I want, I'm like, okay, I'm getting this with no questions asked. Like, I don't care what it, like, I kind of do care what it is. Well, you, <laughs> I, you, I do. You, you tried on that, that kitty cat athletic wear outfit. Kitty that was, cat. It yeah. Was, that was. My, <laughs> my titties were like. It's, okay, ugh. I'll just be serious. Here. It's, it was made for someone who's an A, maybe a B cup. Right? Wow. And, and she still gave it the old it college try. It barely fit me, y'all. Like, hey. it barely You willed yourself. Me. I actually have a picture of it. Yeah, yeah. I'll don't break it. I mean, <laughs> anything's wearable. Yeah, like. Hey, you know, <laughs> but maybe some people's aesthetic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She gave it a shot. I mean, but yeah, I don't try something on until, like, I judge it to see if I like it or not or, like, if it looks good on me or not. So that's just basically me. Yeah, you honestly. never know. If you Sometimes you go you go shopping, you see something on a hanger, and you're like, oh, I love that. You put it on, you're like, what was I thinking? Or vice versa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's the same thing with this. It's just like you're shopping, but you have someone who's your stylist almost. Yeah, yeah. like, yeah, there's the girls some. girls get the full treatment backstage. They really do get the whole, like, hair and makeup thing and the designers have sometimes made them something from scratch for just their measurements oh, and yeah. so it's a it's a it's an experience for people who haven't been through that yeah i wanted to get into that because obviously if you get the measurements prior that helps a lot oh yes. so yeah. do you do you get like a cheat sheet or a diagram of okay this is how it's going to look do yeah. you want do you want us to move forward with this so we don't waste our time making like six others that you're going to say no to? Yeah, I asked the you know, I asked the girls to provide me with measurements and they're allowed to do that in private if they don't want to share it in the semi-public forum of the group. There's there's over 400 models in the pool. So wow. um, yeah, See, and that's and that's where I'm like, Doug, how the hell do you manage all that? God, I, I if wish they're, it, if they're so <laughs> you got the girls <laughs> help out a lot. They really I mean, this is not just me at the head of the ship. Like it's very much a collaborative effort and a lot of the girls are pitching in, doing extra things, um, coming to the shows like this with me. Um, so y- they really do help. It's not me just leading uh, a bunch of followers. It's it's much more of a, a collective effort. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But um you know, we, we asked them for their accurate measurements. And I, I stress, like, please don't fudge, right? I don't care if you're a 36 or a 38. It does not matter to me. So don't don't lie about your measurements. And it's happened before. Yeah. Right? You know, um, I mean, you know, everyone who's 5'11 says they're six feet tall. Um, but uh, it well, all guys. Don't ever, <laughs> ask a, don't ever ask a guy how big something is in inches because they will lie. 
Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> and don't tell a girl how big your dick is. Yeah. Like, I don't even Well, care. see, I was trying to go there without going there, but then just moving. <laughs> like, but if you're going to send inches. That's exactly what I meant. No, you totally set her up. I was, that was, I was you did. For, no. I was going for PG-13. Y'all, he set me up. <laughs> no, he, he that was all up, you, so. Zuckery. But yeah, so the, so the, so the, girls, the girls give me their measurements, and if the designers need more info, depending on what they're making for them, they will ask. Um, and for the most part, everyone's real straightforward and, and uh, you know, gives accurate measurements. And then the and sometimes the designers are local or they fly in early and to do fittings and things like that. So, um, you know, we haven't really had too many problems. We've had some backstage sewing, I'm not going to lie. But um, for the most part, things work out pretty good. Yeah, yeah, you have to have that mindset of we're going to have some adjustments last minute. Absolutely. And that just comes with the territory. Yep, every show. Now, as far as like having possibly a celebrity person walking for we've had it, uh, really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Adrian Curry, who is a uh, winner of America's first uh, the very uh, first top, America's yeah, Next Top, top Model, model which and is he still married? Is she still married to no, Peter? She, she dumped a, Peter. She dumped Peter. She's right? dating a guy named Matthew Road. He's a Twitch streamer. His no. Twitch stream is Duck Sauce, yeah. and they are the most. Cutest she's, couple. I think she's happier now. Yeah, she's very. She's happy. a huge geek. She's a huge oh, big geek. Time. Right, she's big an time. awesome, awesome person. Um, Ronnie McNear, who's the um, face model for Samara from Mass Effect, she's got a huge following. She's been in the show. Um, lots of quote unquote cause famous people. Jacqueline's mm -hmm. walked for us. Um, geez, a Vegas Power Girl, Ivy Doom Kitty. Really? Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They all. Um, I mean, a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of bigger names. Um, Negative Stacy. Gosh, uh, if I start doing this, I'm going to forget people, so I'm just going to stop right there. Exactly. A lot, <laughs> they're gonna a like lot of famous people. Like, but but again, know. the same way we don't discriminate based on uh, any sort of body type, we don't discriminate based on f fame or like level of notoriety. Yeah. There's you know, newbie fangirls in there, and there's famous people in there, too. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, is there like an age limit? Nope. For, okay, nope. so it could be... A, a I've had moms and daughters both walk in the same show. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Now, as far as the future of the geek fashion show, where where's that heading? It we like are actually trying to take over the entire world. Yes, <laughs> that's the goal. Um, we're trying we're, to go from state I mean, to state. We're a national show. We've done we've done shows on the East Coast and you know pr like pretty much uh, all over the place. I'd like to do um, I'd like to do a show out of the country. I'd like to do Canada or Mexico or um, Puerto Rico, some some place out of the country. I could see the concept being something you would do like every freaking day. Like, <laughs> because if you put all the con schedules together yep. on a calendar, there's one every week. Oh yeah. Everywhere. I, I've done in more the than United. 12 in a year. Yeah. Uh, last year I did 12 and, and, uh, and it was, it was brutal. It's, it, it was, it was heavy. I did, I did two in one weekend one time. Oh um, my God. Yeah. It was crazy. But, um, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> yeah. tiring just thinking about it, but yeah, no, we, we do want to do, I mean, I think, I like the success level we're at, mm -hmm. but I'd like to reach a wider audience. Gotcha. Okay, okay. Now, let's get down to what's coming up for you. There's a con that a you guys con. are talking about, yeah. and you're this particular con, you're not organizing it. Nope. You're just focusing on the fashion show. Yep, absolutely. Let's get into the meet and Yep, stuff. Silicon Valley Comic Con, which yeah. is, um, you know, uh, we were talking about this before the show, yeah. right? NorCal has been without a premier event since WonderCon left. And there's been a lot of great cons that have WonderCon. come in. A lot, a lot of, yeah, I miss WonderCon big time. A lot of cons have come in, and they've, they've done a really good job of sort of filling some idea. of that void, right? Stockton Con, Big Wow, um, you know, Walker Stalker and things have come in to visit. Would you, uh, would you consider, like, toy shows in that category yeah, because some of them are pretty big yeah, and they're, are pretty they, they, yeah, just, they're they really big. don't have a lot of event programming though in general those are like shopping cons which is, there's nothing wrong with a shopping con yeah but they don't really stress their event programming yeah really because not. i believe the san jose toy show is huge it's huge yeah, yeah, oh yeah so i know joe yeah i mean it's a great show yeah I, I buy toys there all the time but uh yeah i mean so like having silicon valley come back to northern california this is steve wozniak from apple's show um, is super exciting for me. I, the, the minute they announced it, I was like, I want to be part of that show. And I was, um, 
I was a shameless attention whore in trying to get that show. I, I've honestly presumed. You said whore. Ho- I did say whore. That's my. Is that a customer? Not whore. 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 Yeah. Whore. Ho. Of course <laughs> so that's not a customer. A ho show. A ho <laughs> show. So, you know, we, we, we actively pursued them because we really wanted to be part of that show. And, and they accepted us. We're super excited to be part of that show. Um, this year is, is it's going to be it's going to be huge, 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 huge. Awesome, awesome. You're going to be there, aren't you? We're going to make we're going to do our very best. You okay. better. Yeah, you better. You, you better. better. You better. I was hoping to better. get your girl in that Be- show, actually. You know I, what? I was disappointed when she wasn't here. I was going to pitch. Hey, w- I could still make it happen. All right, I'd love to have her. There you go. Yay. It's <laughs> better half. It's it's just about <laughs> maneuvering it and switching yeah. things around. All right, <laughs> let's see if we can make it happen. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So uh, let's get down to some like miscellaneous stuff that you guys are interested in, Claudia. Uh, you, you say you paint, you're an artist and stuff like that. What do you exactly draw? Oh, uh, anything and everything. But Adult stuff? Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> that thing you posted in the group was like sort of risque, but it was really tasteful. Oh, it yeah. It looked like a penis, but wasn't. It had newspaper in it. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> penis with newspaper. No, no I, uh, oh I, I, like, I, I do paint some nudes, uh, even self-portrait nudes, because I'm very confident with my body, and I find myself doing um, artistic things. Well, Lawrence here does the nude presentation, so he'll like be butt naked, and you could like <laughs> chase him out. Awesome. Yeah, you know the body is beautiful. Exactly. Yeah, every shape and form. Exactly. And I, I love drawing people the most, and uh, portraits, character designs, costume designs, and fashion designs. So those are kind of my main things I love to do. And I often uh, design a lot of my own cosplay designs, and I'll model for them too. Um, I work with um, a cosmic designer, B Beauty Designs in San Jose, mm-hmm. and uh, I've been with her since 2013, uh, and she's amazing, and we, we're best friends. And uh, But I also like to design my own stuff, thanks to my mom. She helps me a lot. She taught me how to sew. And, uh, but you I'm walked your own look that, uh, I think, the sec- last show, right? Yes. Yep. Yes, so uh, the cool. last, uh, last show, we had the opportunity, thanks to Duggery, to uh, when we – us models who were modeling for uh, Kapumon, mm-hmm. which is what is hats. Obviously, it's just a hat. We're not going to go on stage with it's just a hat that. on. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. So uh, he said, well, if you have an idea um, for a specific Pokemon for doing the Jijinka. Jijinka yeah, yeah. or a bounding Yeah, outfit, it's some yeah. Kind of bounty, something inspired by mm-hmm. that Pokemon. Uh, we'll let you pick what yeah, hat you want. Make it yourself. Uh, yeah. no, no designer was involved except no. for the hat. Yeah, and... Uh, I was the first one to get on that because I love every opportunity to get creative. And I saw Espeon, uh, one of the evolutions, Mm -hmm. and I I said I knew immediately what I wanted to do, and I quickly sketched it out and sent it over to him, and it was like uh, she was the first one to get it. Yes, it was me, and I said, "I Duggery, please make this happen." I really, really want to, boys. So uh, it basically made this like kind of sexy, glitzy. Um, almost belly dancer inspired outfit. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, and... We'll send you a pic. Yeah. <laughs> belly up. I was going to wear it. <laughs> I was going to wear it tonight, but um, I forgot some safety pins and um, and things like that. And uh, I just... It's hard to sit down in. It, yeah, it's, it's not the most, uh, I guess, comfortable uh, to just sit still. It's made for moving around. Plus, it's scandalous. It's, 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 it's not nope. that scandalous it's at all. It's no pain, no gain. I know, but... Switch it. Is it. <laughs> super cute. After show. Photos. <laughs> quick, 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 <laughs> quick photos. Oh, outfit change. That's, that's the word. Outfit so, change. So, Claudia, with all what you're doing, I mean, yeah. is there like a like a geek fashion show petty cash that you get money from? Because it, it seems like it, it kind of adds up. Uh, no, not really. I mean, you just do it, with, you know, with the love and passion in your heart, gotcha. really. And See, that's the goal that Doug needs to have, like a 401k for the <laughs> and Everyone I, I can just dip into it. The girls do get some benefits. I don't really want to talk about them on air. But <laughs> they're, they're totally legit. They're okay. totally legit. Okay. No, we, I mean, like, you know, they get into the con <laughs> for free. There's, yeah, here there's, goes uh, up. There's, ha- you know, we have yeah, a yeah. suite to host them and things like that. And pizza Here's and stuff like that. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, and this is, this is a conscious decision, and it's not a monetary one. Nobody is compensated for the show. It's volunteer. Yes. Because... I don't want people who are only in it for the money. You right. have to be. You have to want to do this for the and love of it. For the love of yeah. it, yeah. right? Now, it's not like they don't get stuff. Like 
you know, people get free outfits. They get oh, I yeah. have sponsorships, makeups given to them. Lots, there's lots of benefits. And I sometimes it's just a surprise, you yeah. know, things they get. But I find that money changes people's behavior. Ooh, you know? it does. And, it and makes it dirty and it makes it tricky and not and the fun. Dirty money. The money yeah. that I dirty get. Dirty money, Morgan. The, the money that does come it. into the show <laughs> is turned back into the show. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And it's and it, you can tell because each and every show I've seen just gets better and better and gets bigger and more awesome. And we get more so, so <laughs> yeah, so many. We got a lot of freebies. Like <laughs> he always has his swag. He's like, who wants free stuff? We all just like right, right. Agree. It's yeah. like a fantasy kind of thing. <laughs> and See, and yeah. and that's the thing I, l I love about what you're putting together, Doug, because you're I think you're not only a forward thinking person but a very spiritual one yeah. and the universe works in that way where it's not really about monetary benefit yeah. it's about being able to do your part and things will work out in the yes, end yes absolutely that's how it works yeah. if you're thinking about making the next dollar it's just going to be that for the rest of your life yep. and that's that's being spiritual understanding that whole universe is one thing yeah. I mean this takes a lot of my time but this is not how I make my money yeah, yeah absolutely <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> Namaste. So, uh, do you want to add on to that, Mugen? Mm, yeah. She's all about the money. Oh, no, well, like, you know. I've seen no, like, it. Make I've, rain. I've seen it at my at my work. Like, I've mm. seen girls. Like when they have, when they see rain pouring all over them, like it, their behavior change. Well, like, just let her. It, it can either change to like. Mugen, let's let's. You're getting the cat out the hat. Might as well just, <laughs> yeah, just tell them what you do and stuff like I that. I am a waitress at a strip club, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> a waitress, not a, a stripper. Dancer. I do get confused as a dancer when customers come in. Of course, I do. she's hotter than like all the rest. Of them. I mean, like. <laughs> no, there's some girls that are prettier than me. Like, yeah, not know, some of the waitresses are, but. I hate to be an asshole, but, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I've seen some really pretty strippers, like really pretty ones that I would wouldn't mind sleeping with for one night. Wife for days. I really wouldn't, but like after this, I'm probably gonna break their hearts. <laughs> so Aww. yeah, like I, I, women. I'm sorry, but like we're catching up to men. I feel horrible. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I feel horrible. I Ow. do <laughs> because we're scumbags. I mean, like no, yeah, <laughs> but women are starting to catch up, and I feel horrible that like I hear about it, I see about it, and I'm just like I think it's just more of an educational thing, Doug. They're being more educated, being more prepared. That's it. Yeah, you're not being horrible. No, 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 but I've seen it, and it makes me feel horrible as a female. You know, I mean, I'm not in that. I'm not saying I'm in that category, but it's like it's making us females look horrible but i think in the, it, you know it's funny though in the show the girls are a hundred percent supportive i say like i don't want any divas backstage I'll save that for the stage save it for the runway but honestly the amount of people we've had to ask leave is is minute right these girls are super super supportive of each other i mean even to the point this things get crazy backstage as you can imagine somebody's forgotten something mm -hmm. and we'll yell out who's got a 34c bra and someone in the corner's like i got one and it goes flying over to the other <laughs> <laughs> they, they trade clothing all the time. Yeah, they're supportive. Yeah, they're family. supportive. Uh, eyelash glue, insoles, all kinds of stuff. Everything. So, and and they they a hundred percent support each other. I don't tell them to do it; they do it themselves. Can someone give me a penny liner, please? Dude, they, <laughs> I'm telling you, they they will they will bend over backwards to help each other. I it's so true. Literally. Well, you know, sometimes <laughs> you have to, but you know, I I found that um, you know you think like oh we're just models who are just wearing geek clothing, but actually we're Geeks and nerds too, as obviously we move in or talk about. You know, we have our own fandoms, and yeah. and if you think about the difference between regular run show models who you see on you know New York Fashion Week and everything, and you watch on those shows like America's Next mm -hmm. Top Model and everything, and then you compare that to what we have backstage and our family that's ever growing and ever getting awesomer, it's just like night and day. It we are always so welcoming obviously a lot of these girls like i said just don't have that experience so they don't have like those big headedness like oh i'm so much better than right. those mm -hmm. people you know we are lifting each other up we really That's are awesome. and um if someone is struggling we're right there for them and uh we're always cheering each other so there's never ever an issue of you know, drama or cattiness or, you know, someone who just feels like they're better than each other. Because yeah. that's that is not at all what represents. There was actually that last uh, we did have another person who went through their own uh, bout with self-doubt. Mm -hmm. And rather this time than me explain to them why I felt they were mistaken. I 
I made a post an, for them anonymously in the group, so there's no name associated with it. I said, this girl's having some doubt. Why don't you girls tell her why you think it's a mistake? And it was just flooded with comments. And totally. the, everyone was telling her, you know, their own experiences, their own... Um, uh, Mantras. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mantras and things that they do to uh, to kind of squash that failure mode that they put themselves yeah. in. So, um, and I thought that was great. You know, I didn't have to do anything other than ask the girls to help this girl out, and they did. Again, uh, applause. <laughs> Yay! That's Spread the, the love. <laughs> That's for the girls. Make though. love, not hate. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and again, the going back to the whole idea of putting together this show, it's beneficial across the board yep. in terms of being able to change lives in yep. general and put people in position to succeed, even if it's just for that moment of being able yeah. to be on stage. It's like jumping out of an airplane, I tell them. Like, yeah. you know, they, they're scared. I haven't done that yet, but I would like I, to. I, I'd love yes. to do I personally would too. I can, you can see when a girl's about ready to go on, the ones who are nervous as hell. Yeah. And, and you know, everyone's behind them. They're clapping for them and everything. By the time they come off the stage, they like, it's you have to drag them off to tell you the <laughs> truth. But like, it, there's a completely different look. It's a completely different feeling. They have this epiphany out there, and um, and I think it, it's it's night and day for them. It's it's I think it's awesome. I get a, I still get excited seeing that. That's awesome. That's awesome. So let's fast forward to another con that's coming up over yep. in August, yep. Stockton Con. Stockton Con. Yep. And you just uh, on the pre-show gave me more information yeah. on, in regards to it. And yes, uh, the Slam Show TV EPN will be well represented yeah, there. Absolutely, yeah, we're happy to have you. We just struck that deal tonight. Exactly, striking <laughs> deals. <laughs> I like how you worded that. Yeah. Make it rain, uh, make it rain. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is something new. You're actually going to have the equivalent of the Grammys for cosplay yep. on that Friday. Yep. Talk about that. It's called the Cozies, yep. right? The NorCal Cozies. So Stockton Con has partnered with the NorCal Cozies to bring, just like you said, it's like a Grammys or an Oscar type award show. It is not a costume contest. This is recognizing people in the field and in the, the local Northern California area for their contributions to the community in general, for their expertise, their artistry. And uh, it's presented just like any other award show. There's, you know, we have celebrity presenters. We have a red carpet that they walk. There's uh, a black tie after party. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun, and it's, it's going to be super exciting. I'm, I'm very excited about having that this year. Yeah, and this is totally new to me. Yeah, but. We're all in. Yeah, all in. Yeah, we're happy to have you there. The um, the the our involvement with is is uh, the models are going to be the trophy presenters that night. Mm -hmm. Or the trophies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all the trophies. Yeah, that's uh, a great trophy to well, have. We, we, uh, <laughs> we did the we did the one last year and it was great because you know I got to walk the red carpet with with my crew right, mm -hmm. and no one else got to walk the red carpet with ten super hot girls. Yeah. So like I got to feel like a million bucks that night. You Ooh. you are Hugh Hefner for a moment. I was Hugh Hefner for about Pop two and a half colors. minutes. Yeah. It was, it was awesome <laughs> but um, no we had a great time at the Kazis. we talked to them about I mean I'm, I am one of the partners that uh, runs Stockton Con mm -hmm. I talked to them about expanding their show and doing it at Stockton Con and they were super excited to be part of it I'm I'm super excited to have them I say super excited like a million times <laughs> <laughs> uh, super excited but yeah and you know have you have you guys be there too it's 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 gonna be a blast oh I am just so flattered where your best man? I want I want to see like what Sam and Slam Slam and Sam Slam and Sam. <laughs> there you what go. What are you slamming. What are you gonna bring? Well, like what's your What's your best look? Oh man, we were talking about that. How because you do run a fashion show, how yeah. difficult it is <laughs> to have different variations of black yeah. because that usually is <laughs> yeah. the connection. But like tonight, you have a purplish turquoise yes. color. Burgundy. Yeah, burgundy. burgundy. Yeah. Plum. It's actually yeah. like my favorite color. Yeah. I think besi Bonag. besides black, I love this color. Exactly. Yeah, no, I'm freaking it's, colorblind it's, right it's now. It's silly. <laughs> like it's silly uh, that I had to think about this, but you know, I can't wear the same suit out on the show. Or, you know, every time I do it, it people are gonna wonder. Like they're gonna match up. They're gonna they're say, "Hey, you took it for <laughs> this one, and hey, we have photo proof. We, yeah, have we have photo, photo proof. proof." So like, I, yeah, um, that so was photoshopped. <laughs> You know, it's it's hard because trying to get male looks into the show is difficult. The amount of uh, male uh, geek fashion designers is just much, much smaller than female. Mm -hmm. So the show is weighted that way, of course. Um, but, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd love to get a sponsor for my clothes. All right. For more clothes. Yeah, <laughs> well, put the word out there yeah, right the now. You're on I mean, the yeah, show. Iron Fist and New Breed hook us up. Copymon hooks us up. Fun Suits hooks us up. Uh, we, we do Think Geek actually hooks us up. Oh. But, um, yeah, we love Think Geek. Think Geek um, in the house. Think geek in the house, but yeah, you know, just you know, getting some more people represented, I think, is good. You know, well, but yeah. 
Well, hopefully with the uh, show going out there to the masses and obviously on the archive replay, you're going to get a lot of leads. And, I hope so. And, hope hey, so. we're going to make some, make some magic happen. Yeah. Uh, to close out the show, let's finish out some of the incredible interests that you guys have. We already found out that Claudia is an artiste. She's yep. an artiste. So, so fancy. I'm just finding out right now that Mugen here likes to collect pins. Okay. I don't know how this started. <laughs> Every time when I'm at a convention, like I, I just started – I would just see pens that I want, and I just have them there. And now right. I'm starting my Samurai Champloo collection. Oh. On my, I'm barely starting it. Like, I just got my little Momo plush, the little squirrel. Mm -hmm. I just got that in. It's so tiny, <laughs> and I thought it was gonna be bigger. Um, I just got a, I just got Mugen's sword for my birthday last year. Okay. Um, and I have a few posters. Steve Bloomside's one of them. The voice actor of Who's himself. That? If you guys don't know who Steve Bloom is, show the tattoo. Go to hell. I know. Okay. I know. If you guys don't, you guys contract. can really see it, but the voice actor himself, Steve Bloom, is wow. on me. And if Mary Elizabeth McGlynn is Shoulder. watching this, man, Ooh. if Mary Elizabeth McGlynn is seeing this, threesome. <laughs> no. Threesome. No. No. If Steve Bloom is watching this, oh my god. <laughs> but no, Steve Bloom is the voice actor. He's Spike. For um, Capway Bebop, and he's Tom from Toonami. He's Mugen from Samurai Champloo. He's in Digimon. He's in um, he, he's in a lot, dude. He's like in over four hundred things, like video games, uh, anime. He's also did a uh, voiceover for Seven Eleven, actually. Oh, really? He has, yeah. He That's does. a pretty obscure dude. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> well, like voice actors said before, you you cannot get by by just doing voice acting in anime. Like you have to do other stuff just to of pay course. the bills and everything and feed yourself. But yeah, so I'm starting to ch uh, collect Samurai Champloo stuff. Um, I have a wall full of. I kind of collect. I technically collect anime posters too you like i have all do. i have a lot like my room is nearly covered like i'm about to cover my ceiling awesome. like it's that bad man like it's Especially the bad ones. yeah like <laughs> I now, have... you need to do a facebook live from your room i do when like, the ceiling I have... starts getting complete it yeah, looks like I have. a crunchy roll addicts room is what it, looks like. <laughs> it kind of yeah. does like it's oh my god man like i'm collecting pins like i have a random desk with like all the stuff that they've been through con like from conventions right. to like business cards from other cosplayers and photographers i have a weird collection but i it's think okay. my main one is p i'm like I, I don't know like i just i like i don't realize i'm collecting stuff until like i see it and i'm just like oh my god like <laughs> there's i just happening. have basically <laughs> what, it's what like a, last night? <laughs> yeah it's like waking up from a hangover know, right? it's like ha it's like what the hell is this <laughs> or like a daily hangover you have when you go to conventions like i just have basically it's like a con collection of like stuff where i go to like and then like my samurai champloo uh stuff is like my main stuff i'm trying to collect right now awesome get everything like that is hardly like existing anymore like i'm starting to see cowboy bebop stuff come back after that show's been out for like 19 years God, like wow. that, 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 that long been, man it's crazy. that long <laughs> and champloo's only been out for almost 14 almost 14 time flies yep Crazy. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, and I do other stuff like um, I work out when I can. I like to eat. I like to sleep, mainly sleep. And like a normal person. Like I a normal person. <laughs> <laughs> I play video games. Like right now I'm stuck on Final Fantasy. Like I'm obsessed with Final Fantasy 15. I love the game. And then I just finished uh, Gladio's um, DLC, and I love it because Gladio's daddy. Gladio is Daddio. <laughs> I love I love me some Gladio. Um, I am really obsessed with Mortal Kombat. I'm very obsessed with Mortal Kombat. Like I've grew up with that. Like it came out in '92 when I was still in diapers because I was born that year. So I didn't play it till I was like, mm, let's say I didn't play it till like. She was already year. doing fatalities in '93 though. Nah, <laughs> I wish. Get over here. <laughs> yeah, Mortal Kombat 10's like I love that game. I really love it. But now Mugen, this is not what you told me on the pre-show. You only told me you did hidden collecting. Not all the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> See, when people on. ask me about my hobbies, like they don't come to my mind all the time because, like, I'm I like to do See, stuff. See, she's a bit mysterious person, lady. I gentlemen. am. She was holding back. Yeah, I am. Like, I like to I'm have. I'm starting to get worried about her. <laughs> I like to have people. What is she about? Who are you? I like to have people figure me out. Like, all like basically like what my hobbies like. It'll change like almost every day. Gosh. And then like like if I find something that I've never done yet or that I like to do, like it's there. So okay. like if it's there, I like to do it. And then like. So I, <laughs> the whole pull thing. <laughs> so I think what we can pull from this is that she likes anime. 
I like anime. I do. <laughs> I like general. anime. I mean, just I read. A broad stroke. <laughs> <laughs> no, just but like anime. I, I think I, I am starting to figure out that I do like samurai anime. Like I really do. Like okay. um, samurai champloo is one of them. Um, Sengoku Pasaro is my favorite. That's samurai warriors. In I'm English. telling you. <laughs> Our main guy that's usually behind the board, Alex Rockrage, you guys will fall in love because he loves all that stuff. Yeah. And when he sees a show, he's just going to say, why wasn't I there? Yeah, <laughs> like, I like, I like the Japanese culture. Like, I love the Asian culture. Like, I like different Asian cultures, like Korean culture, um, Japanese culture, uh, the Chinese culture, mm-hmm. all of that. Um, going back to the poll thing. <laughs> so... <laughs> That was I one hell a of a segment. <laughs> yeah. I am a, that, a I was, was going to tell people a, how they got in the show. But <laughs> I am a waitress at a strip club. Sure <laughs> you are. And I get mistaken as a stripper like a lot. So I use Mugen. So I have to tell people like, hey, my name's Mugen. Where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Switch, <laughs> switching gears real quick oh before we stray into more of her darkest, oh deepest secrets. Can I we saw tell people how to get in the show? <laughs> Doug, real, that dark. Doug, real quick. Uh, any hobbies besides running this incredible, extravagant? Yeah, uh, huge comic, huge comic nerd. Um, I uh, I play guitar. I have a bunch of vintage guitars, and I love motorcycles. Oh wow! But uh, I, you know, I'm I'm definitely a Renaissance nerd. I like I like a little bit of everything. Um, I, I actually uh, worked as an animation producer for a while, uh, which was my dream job, but not anymore. In any <laughs> case, I actually did want to say one thing before we were done, and that's how to get involved in the show. And that's that we will give anybody a chance, and I do mean anybody. There is nothing you're going to tell me about yourself um, that's going to preclude you from being in the show about, like, the way you look, right? So um, message us on our Facebook page and just say, I'd like to get involved. How do I get involved? We'll have a little chat online, tell you how the process works. But in general, what it boils down to is a quick phone interview. And in that interview, they can determine if it's something they want to commit to, and we can determine if they're a good mesh and fit for us. Because honestly, like, as pretty as both of these girls are, it was who they were that got them into the show. Personality. Right. Personality. So, um, and stripping. No, oh, that's true. Joking. I actually, <laughs> joking. I've, I've only been to the club <laughs> once, and that was to pick her up. So, like, I really <laughs> get inside. Um, yeah, right. But, yeah, no, I'm serious. <laughs> well, right. she didn't invite me in. But, um, 20 oh. bucks to get in. It's 20 uh, bucks. Yeah. You, you, couldn't, you couldn't get him in? Just like, I mean, hey, she, was, my, she was done. My boy. She was done. I was she's done. Off my show. Done. Yeah. I would have went with you. Let me know. <laughs> We'll go in together, hang out. Yeah, come get we'll some. Be, we'll be the two ballers. Yeah, exactly. Come get some boobies in your face, y'all. Like, it's a wrap. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong coming. It's a wrap. No, there. Yeah, there is nothing wrong. No. <laughs> People but consider that yeah, cheating, we, and it's we, not. You know, I mean, that's the thing. We we do not judge based on what what you do or what you're no. involved in, and it's 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 not. This is a uh, uh, this show is all about freedom of expression and about uh, you know who you are and and that everybody is beautiful. That's it. Well yeah. said. And actually, if I want to add on to that, if uh, anyone is interested in do- doing the show, but they don't feel as confident to be a model, uh, we always could use help backstage. Yep. And I think once you see how we do it and the support and love that everyone shares, then I think that is a really great way to just kind of dip your toe in and uh, be inspired. And then you feel like, okay. I get it. I totally want to be a part of it. You can do it. Exactly. Yes, you can. So if, if that is more of your speed, we welcome that as well. We always could use the help. And uh, just looking at so many different kinds of models, all walks of life, all experiences, all styles, you're going to find at least one person that you're going to be best friends with who's going to say, hey, let's model together. And you're going to say, okay. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Dip that toe. All right. <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, close out the show with the shouts and plugs. Let's start with Claudia working her way around. Okay. Yeah. Just plug yourself. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, thanks to... Yes, uh, so uh, thank you so much for uh, having me. You can find my uh, cosplay and art page on facebook.com slash cricket, co- uh, cricket fantasy cosplay art. Uh, That's a mouthful. Sorry. It yes, is. it is. That's why I was stumbling. <laughs> I was so excited. <laughs> so cricket fantasy cosplay art uh, on Facebook. And you can also follow me on Instagram at Clauders, that's C-L-A-U-D-E-R-Z. I also have some of my personal stuff. So if you want to know a little bit more behind the scenes of my crazy life, that's a good place to start. <laughs> uh, Geek Fashion Show, we're on Instagram, uh, Twitter, and Facebook, of course. So it's just Geek Fashion Show. Um, find us, message us there. Um, also, Geek HQ, which is uh, my website. It's a uh, sponsor of the Geek Fashion Show. And then my series of conventions, which is Stockton Con Productions, run by uh, me and uh, Mike Millerick. Props out to Mike Millerick. <laughs> yeah, props, Mike. 
<laughs> you guys can follow me on Facebook, which is www.facebook.com slash X Mugen Yoderichi X. Uh, Instagram is Yoderichi underscore you infinity. Spell that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, uh, Do you, if you guys don't watch Bleach, you guys can't spell Yoderichi. Whoa. I feel so ashamed. Check but there's going to be people who don't <laughs> know that show. I feel like okay. such a <laughs> weeboo right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ashamed. I'm trying to get you more But fun. yeah, Yoderichi <laughs> is spelled Y O R U I C H I underscore infinity i know you guys can spell that and <laughs> not go back to school instagram yoderichi underscore infinity underscore gof twitter yoderichi oh no it's moving yoderichi i changed it i forgot <laughs> my you just confused the fuck out. i, I forgot yeah i know i totally name. forgot i changed my instagram name it's moving yoderichi uh snapchat is yoderichi underscore gof so and oh also make sure you guys join cosby deviants if you guys want to see um more. A set okay. that I have on there. <laughs> I my first set on there is called the final round, which was my co- poison cosplay I did. So yeah, join cosplay deviants, everything. Awesome. Thank you, Sam, for having us. By the way, you're oh, very I welcome. Yeah, thanks. I also you're have one welcome. more thing. I'm sorry. Uh, I also keep on forgetting that I also do YouTube as well. Um, I'm part of a YouTube channel that's been going on for ten years now. It's called the Rich Alvarez Channel, <laughs> and we're actually um, on uh, Patreon. We we're trying to gather up funds to do our third um and possibly uh final season no. of it, it's it's not exactly final because we'll never um be done with it but we have this really funny <laughs> the final season for that saga yeah basically. so basically it's a super mario inspired show called stupid mario brothers that's the original one and then we have stupid mario world and now we're about to launch a stupid mario brothers legacy oh my god so i gotta I, check that out i play pauline cool. from the old donkey kong games and yeah the um, one that gets I, rescued yes and actually in the show i marry dk and i'm very very sassy <laughs> so it's actually funny because i met uh met mugen she was she recognized my voice i don't even think that she saw my face she was like wait no i've seen her <laughs> face I'm yeah just like, like, we were like across the way down the like table and we were doing our little introduction she's like wait i know you you were in that i'm oh. like are you pauline and i keep forgetting <laughs> that that's a thing so i just want to do that little plug into because we really uh you would love it. to get followers and supporters especially on patreon because um we've been doing it for 10 years now and it's definitely a work of love and it, it's kind of like the classic nerdiness you know it all of is. like the mario and video game stuff oh we, yeah we have final fantasy and there's squall we have a squall dude have he's squall. hot um, oh my god we love you nick and um, love you nikki and we have like snake and pokemon in there the and <laughs> legend of zelda <laughs> and so and if you love video games um uh, i love comedy and epic you know, we have like save lightsaber fights and everything like that. We have a fight choreographer. Um, definitely check it out. I think Rich you guys should come on for your own like interview for that. Right. <laughs> right. I just wanted to put in that little plug in. Oh man, just that little plug. We gotta get shout outs for I'm that. So sorry, I just keep forgetting. So no. I wanted to do that. We for have you guys. to put that. in. All right. Anyways, <laughs> continue on. <laughs> <laughs> we're done. <laughs> like we're like, all right. That was a good one, Claudia. You're welcome. That was a mouthful, but a good one. All uh, right. You know. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, straight up. Thank you for coming on to the program. No I Thank greatly you appreciate much. your guys' uh, visit here to the Slam Show Studios. Claudia, Mugen, Doug, uh, yes. wish you the very greatest success on moving Thank forward you. with Thank you. the Geek Fashion Show and everything that you're involved in. Awesome. You're a great guy, and I'm looking forward to our sponsorship and our affiliation. Absolutely. To grow hand in hand and make this thing and make this thing just blow up and conquer the world together. That's it. That's it. Let's look forward to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you need to have a team. You need to have a team to be yeah. successful. All right. I'll go ahead and close out the shouts and plugs. Shouts out to my main men behind me. The <laughs> Erie RT team, Diego, Lawrence, thank you for doing the board, making everything happen, and making my job a lot easier. Yes, applaud yourself. <laughs> you got to applaud yourself. I'd like to thank Lady Sage, Captain Fantastic, the rest of the crew for always supporting the Slam Show and TV EPN, our sponsors and affiliates, especially VW here over in Oakland, and obviously Little Jay's out of Pittsburgh catering the food that we're going to grub down if everyone <laughs> has a little appetite. Why not? <laughs> so. That does it for this episode of the Slam Show for myself and everyone here. We Peace will up. see you next week. Peace. 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 That was awesome. Can <laughs> we get to sign this? Yes. Yay. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs>